Welcome to Syntax. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Front End Happy Hour podcast. Welcome to this week's JS Party. Live from Shipshape Studios, this is Whiskey Web and Whatnot with your hosts, Robbie the Wagner and me, Charles William Carpenter III. That's right, Charles. We drink whiskey and talk about web development. I mean, it's all in the name. It's not that deep. This is Whiskey Web and Whatnot. Do not adjust your set. Hey, what's up? This is Wine, Web, and Whatnot. Because we couldn't do whiskey because of logistical issues. Yes. And we're not going to go through the whole pronunciation. Pronunciation. Just say what the wine is. Okay. I can't say uh, Brunello right di Maltino. Uh, it's an Anata 2018. It's a D-O-C-G, which means organic, which is good in Italy, bad in America. I think that's about where we're at, right? Yes, that's, okay. that sounds right. Now I'm wondering if I put the SD card in. What the son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, sorry. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'll be okay. right back for a moment. Wouldn't it say? Um, no. I would think it would. Yeah, recording to nothing? I guess. Well, maybe so, there's uh, like one megabyte of on... on board storage yeah and that that's all you get yeah uh, yeah because you can actually oh. so we'll talk sorry easy. guys this is my first time podcast yeah, exactly so. we'll speak briefly about the roadcaster pro 2 which all the roadcaster ones with the sound effect buttons allow you actually add your own sound effects on there they give you things like crowd noise and stuff by default i see but you can yeah like, put your you're you expected to replace right them with your own custom farts? If you'd like, yeah. yeah. My own yeah. custom farts. I actually only put farts on this board, so we'll see if we're going to use all of them out. But it's a beautiful piece of equipment. Yeah, I'm joining these boys at, at Wine, Web, and whatnot here at All Things Open. I think you'll hear some crowd noise behind us. Yes. Even though it's actually a little slow right now, I think, because it's lunch, but you can still hear the, you know? Yeah, yeah I mean, we are out, people. like, kind of in the main hallway, and it looks yeah. like a ton of people are lining up for lunch, and, of course, that's all echoing out, and, alas, here we are. So these aren't sound effects from the road. Yeah, no, it's it's very cool. And we're sitting in front of us is this road podcaster board that they're talking about. It's beautiful. It looks like a video game or something. Or <laughs> 80s equipment. It's really cool. That When I see pictures of stuff like that online, like, my mouse just hovers over the buy button. And I, <laughs> despite me having a podcast as well at, at Chop Talk Show, we just... I, doesn't come up. I, come up I am it. going to send you a bunch of affiliate links. Sounds okay. Like, yeah. Yeah, I do kind of get it, though. That all the mics go into it. It records on the, the thing inside the board, which I like. And yeah. then we all, crucially, we all get headphone jacks. That yes. seems like the most. That, that, yeah. It, it's key to record to the SD card because twice while we were recording at my mm -hmm. house, Riverside just switched the input for the sound. So we were recording from the camera microphone. <laughs> and we... Drink yes. a bunch of oh, whiskey. I've seen that. Yeah. Any little and weird network traffic in, in Riverside will yeah. freak out. And, and it should yes. tell you that it's going to switch, though, but it, it doesn't. And so, yeah, we drank a ton of whiskey. We, we were doing six of them. So we did three. Yeah. And then we were like, wow, we're pretty drunk. Let's listen to it. Oh, didn't work. Let's uh, do another three. But you have the ridge. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. 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 I have. Are, are we gonna pour? Yeah, yeah we're gonna wine. pour. I'll uh, tell a story at the same time. There's these, there, the Instagram got me. There's these little tiny, like inch by inch squares called Audigo that Instagram mm. constantly is trying to sell me. But I, I, when I bought some two of them. road ones that are like road? that size. Yeah. yeah, and they have on-memory storage as well. And the beauty is, you, you know, if you're trying to get, I don't know, really spatial audio, you could put four of them all around, and then they have a native app. You connect them all to it and then record. But you'd think the recording would just be on your phone. It's yeah. not. It's on those devices. Uh -huh. And when you're done recording, it transfers them to your phone. And that's a good trait. It sounds yeah. like it's going to be annoying, but it's not because he guarantee the kind of the fidelity of the recording on the thing. Anyway, we're now looking at this wine. For those of you tuning yes. in audio, it's very wise. earthy smelling to me. Yes, it smells like the fields of Montecino where it was grown. <laughs> Montecino. It smells absolutely wonderful. To me. It does. It's it really smell annoying to drink this glass of wine. Yes, a little jammy, and by glass, I mean it, as much as you want. Yeah, it's a plastic crap glass. You know. Well, we don't want to do dishes. Plus, we're like, it's a fair point. The great and powerful yummy. wizard of CSS is coming to join us. We better get some nice <laughs> shit. So, is okay. that still me? I do still like CSS a I, lot. Yeah. I, think, I do think that's still real. Yeah, yes. still relevant. Yes, it, it is. I, there was a keynote this morning at All Things Open here. Those, I think, touched on it about how like a, a lot of time is wasted from people trying to. Uh, 
debug styling issues. Because if you don't know CSS at all, man, you can fall into a pit of trying to figure out what's wrong with my styles. Yeah. yeah. Which is cool. It's like, I don't find my, I like, I undervalue perhaps my CSS skills a little bit because I'm like, I, I don't know. The, with the work I do now, I'm like, that is not what's taking our product long to make. CSS is a very small piece of <laughs> the difficulty of it. Yeah. But I never do I waste time on a on a CSS problem. If there's a styling right. problem, I just fix it and then move on. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that'll troll you. There was one I didn't realize that like, if you have a, uh, the uh, Mozilla, what do you call it? The prefix stuff. Where sure, it's like a Mozilla prefix, or dash like, models. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you put them both in this, like try to use both and do commas and have a big, oh, it doesn't right, work. Right, right, and they have right, to be right. two separate blocks. Right. And what I'm Robbie's like, talking about is a selector, the entire selector is invalidated. If one of the comma separated pieces of the selector is invalid, oh. that's a little bit of in flux, because I think it may have been historically considered kind of a bad decision to do that, that yeah. maybe you shouldn't kill the whole freaking selector. Like, yeah. it's a little unexpected. It trolled me it for does. hours. Yeah. So I was like, what is wrong? Yeah. Like, oh, that's what it is. So you'll see that because that vendor prefixes are almost dead yeah. in CSS. But there's, there's a few things hanging on. One of them that you'll still see is the styling of scroll bars. There is um. web standard stuff. But the ones where you use dash webkit dash and dash moz dash, you can do more with them. So people mm -hmm. tend to hang on to it longer, but you'll always see them in separate blocks. And it's for that reason, because you, you can't come a separate. Your mind wants to combine them because yeah. you're like, this is not dry. <laughs> yeah. But if you do, you're screwed, son. Yeah. yeah. I have yeah. that. Here. So should we, yeah. uh, should we talk about this wine? wine? Yeah, yes, I think exactly. we should. So. First, let's talk about the flavors that we're experiencing. Yes. Um, it, uh, let's see. Um, that. It's very tannic. Yep. It's uh, full bodied. They would say fruit forward. Yeah. We're there. Um, yeah. Tastes a For little me, like grapes. Getting some grapes. Yeah. There's. <laughs> it might be a little cork in mine too. Uh, yeah. yeah. We got we got it a little bit corked. So hopefully not too bad. But yeah, corky flavor. Was there a tiny cork? I got in a it? tiny bit in mine. Mm, that's okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually struggling to get deep further than that in what I'm tasting, Sad. I don't know. You Maybe you preceded me with earthy, but it being like tastes a little earthy to me. Yeah. I mean, it's not just with dryness, but it ends up being a little dusty in my mouth mm. somewhat. And then a bit tart as it goes down. But it's very good. Like, it's very drinkable. Yeah. All right. So uh, for our first time guest here, so we have a highly advanced you know, rating system. Yeah, yeah. rating system. But yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, wines do like 100 points. We just oh. do zero to Ooh. eight tentacles. We could change the scale for these live episodes. Yeah, I, well, yeah. Well, I say we still do what, <laughs> zero to 800 tentacles. Oh, um, I like that because octopuses have eight tentacles. Right, That's right. Oh, and, oh, I yes. like it. So, zero being horrible, you'd never have this again. Four being like, eh, middle of the road, okay. Eight being amazing. This is your forever house wine. This oh, is wow. the foyer. House wine. That's just how. That's what <laughs> that's I think it is. is. Absolutely not. I okay. have those, and this isn't there. But yeah. it's, but I really like it too. Yeah. But I'm not prepared. Let's say to give it a even a seven. Yeah. So six or six and a half. It is great though. It's fitting the bill right now, and it's just being Italian a little outside of my normal okay. French go-to yes. wine mm -hmm. stuff. What do you, oh, you do French? Yeah, I'm a Burgundy guy. I, you know. say I have two French. Uh, I know, and I intentionally I, did yeah. it because of your I don't know how, how public it is, but the uh, truck plus Italy is a thing. Yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. Well, now I'm fire. And the one thing I had left, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. No, no, you I could just think. like Italy. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I love yeah. it. So, no, and I appreciate that nod. So what do you think then? We When did you give it? I said six or six, six. and a half. Is okay. that uncommittal? We can just say six if we're not doing half yeah. It's a little gross. I can't even publish this one now because you won't pick a fucking number. Six. Okay. Yes. <laughs> six six tentacles out of eight tentacles. Uh, all right. Right. Robert? I mean, I love Brunello's. They're all great. So this one, I've had like one or two that weren't as great, but this one is pretty, like, like it's you? pretty standard. Being DOCG, it kind of has to taste the, a certain way or they can't put the label on it. Right. So like, it's accurate, and I give it a seven. I think I really like okay. those. Yeah, I think it's good. It lacks a little bit of like fuller, more body for me. Like it's got it's kind of a two note wine for me. Like, yeah, it's good. It's very drinkable. I'd okay. enjoy this probably with some, you know, actually like with a nice pizza or a good red sauce, uh, maybe even something with a tiny spice to it. 
because that with the fruit, I think, would balance for me. Mm. Um, but on its own, independently, it's kind of like a fudge. It's sort of like, it's above average. I would enjoy it. I do think I'd probably get something else. Yeah, fair enough. Two yeah. note, a two note wine. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're good at convincing me. <laughs> I'm great at doing a wine tour. Because whatever they say, I'm like, yes, yes. that is what I hear you. I agree. I love the power of suggestion. Say. And by the time you get to like the third or fourth taste, mm -hmm. you're like, Everything's great here. I love it. The aftertaste is is quick. Yeah, and that it it wants to go away, but then it like a little bitterness lingers, and I'm like, if you're gonna be as full bodied as that, it deserves a little more mouthfeel or mm -hmm. something like. Excuse me. Yeah, I you know, get that. That's uh, good. Let's oh, keep it coming. The, yeah, he's got the bottle. <laughs> oh no, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> Everyone was just looking at me all of a sudden because yeah. you are trying to keep all of just the past wine. noon here on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a uh, wine is for lunch. They said all I'm things trying. open, so we opened the so wine. Opened oh, the wine. clever! <laughs> and should all things be open? I mean, that's a wide net if we think the Bible. Oh no. my gosh, that was like yeah. the best segue I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you talking about code licensing? Oh my Ooh. gosh! Yeah, code. Are we going there? Interesting. I think we should because <laughs> I. Well, first of all, I experienced going through a change in license, which I know this yep. is a lot of people off. But um, oh, you just did this? Was yeah, separate? like a month ago. Yeah, not long ago. It. Oh. So it's still okay. So it went from MIT yeah. to the AGPL. Something. Yeah, AGPL. So it's the Apache new blah 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 license. Yeah, with, what with a commercial. Uh, uh, a car route or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. so yeah. if you're using it for commercial purposes, you should purchase a enterprise license. Yeah, and we offer two. Okay, and the the variance there is only in like, okay, how many websites you use it on on repeat. Okay, and, and the support we offer some support out of it. So it's like fifty bucks. You get up to five websites. It's like so SaaS for open source. One this website. Particular license. Yeah, is it one website? Okay, yeah. and then the other is... And then the other is no discount. Like, don't think about it anymore kind of thing. Yeah, so open source stuff. Can you make money from that? <laughs> <laughs> well, this was what we were just talking about, right? You switch from A... From MIT to GPL, AGPL, yeah, with the enterprise carve out or whatever you call it, yep. a couple. Okay, <laughs> and it kind of worked. But so I am curious though. Let I've used Shepard JS, and when I downloaded it, it was MIT, right? Because yeah, yeah, it was before this switch. Yes. Is mine still MIT? Yes, or free absolutely. version it is. fourteen. I you don't have to pay. And as soon as I do NPM upgrade or whatever it is, then now my code is subject to a new thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's a major version, so you should go check the you should release go check. notes. Notes, okay. which will tell you you need a license. Well, I honestly didn't. I didn't and really know about this. this. This is a little. Yeah, this okay. is a little new to me. You can get a yeah. license if you send me a sub pool code then. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Change. We're actually very open on like if you help us, you submit some PRs or whatever. Like we'll give you a free license. Like we yeah, yeah. Sure. We're not. Yeah. We're not phoning home and like really caring about the license. Yeah, we're, we're not managing like, the license of this. You know, point. honor system. Hey, if you're using it a lot, and like, yeah. isn't all open source licensing to a degree kind of an honor system? Like, I've definitely yeah, heard you could some. Fork it. Yeah, yeah, you okay? So yeah. that's another segue. But it would the first be except point, for legal action, right? Like, if you were upside right, somebody, but it's who hard was to using litigate. It, it is hard. To I understand. Okay. Yeah, it's very hard to litigate. I listened to a couple. Of, like when I was trying to figure out licensing when I started the whole Shepherd Pro thing, and there was a lot of talk. Like, okay, so uh, Shepherd briefly was a SaaS and was working with a portfolio company and things didn't go growth wise as they expected okay from a github stars to cade users yep. right because devs are devs they want to make their own thing they don't need me to integrate with their analytics they're already doing it pretty good okay. but they're savvy right that's all there but so yada 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 fast forward i had listened to a few podcasts around that trying to make a smart decision into how we license the open source because the intention was always to keep the library itself open source and either the SaaS would just add magic on top. Yeah. Or you right. can That's still hard. do your own thing. We don't wanna we don't wanna rock that though. We like mm. Yeah. The bonus features are the ones Trying that are to yeah, yeah. offer. But the something. core library is super open. Yeah. So yeah. that was the idea. So it's still yeah. pretty much in this it pretty much is. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, trying to litigate something more than that. And honestly I it guess it would be the, the core to public opinion really. It would you know, yeah, maybe would you could win a court case, but 
mostly you'd be like, if you were somehow upset about some company using your thing right. without buying the license or whatever, you would just say that they were doing that. And theoretically, the people of all things open would revolt. You because it's right. it's not a good look, right? And you're, yeah. you're breaking the license of, of open source. Or don't, don't some there needs to be some warriors that get pissed about stuff like that. that. Say like respect the community. Yeah. Yeah. it goes into this for a point, like whatever yeah. that right. licensing is. Respect that, yeah. yeah. Or I guess fork it and do whatever you want because that is an option. Yeah. So here's a, I, I have a question though. You, you just do it based on number of websites. Is that the only metric? Yes. Right. So it's yep. one website for the first one and then six for the other one. Six. I don't know what you do if you're more than six. We don't monitor it, so yeah. it's really yeah. just more of like six you're obviously. More, but it's nice yeah. to throw a limit on it yeah. just for yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. Nail We're, in if it's a thing. Yeah. Hey, point being, it could be literally Google.com. That is on equal footing with yep. whatever. Johnny.wix.com. It's not Absolutely. meant to like make a ton of money. It's just like, you know, we put mm -hmm. work into this. But I mean, a little bit. Right. And you, what I like about that is that it's so straightforward that it's yeah. just, you don't have to think about it much. But other things in this world do make you think about it a little bit more. One of them is, for whatever reason, fonts. Have you ever bought a font, a paid font? Oh, they, yeah. They, they, yeah. Want, Every they time really want to do it on home. page yeah. news. Yeah. That's their number one thing they wanted to and do. And I it. hate that. I just don't yeah. like that, you know? For no, but it's, it's trying to be like, are you big? Then yeah. you can afford it. So yeah. I, like, yeah, I kind of get it. I also hate it begin with because I've always worked on whatever, pat myself on the back, high traffic, low profit, <laughs> yeah. high traffic, low profit websites. Yeah, yeah. And then it always screwed me because I was like, oh, I need a couple million page views. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, or are you I trying have... to charge me? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. you know? Yeah. But And I've seen a variation on it that wasn't page views, but it was uh, either revenue or number of employees. Oh, like, well, okay. You know, like, that was I liked that a little better because I feel like by the time you're 50 plus employees, you're just in a different category of business that has a few more bucks laying around. And, yeah, yeah, that's and reasonable. I and do like the flat fee though. Like I think if you have a premium product, just set a premium price to begin with. Be like, we okay. only want people with like a lot of traffic. Yeah. Otherwise, we don't care. Oh, uh, that like, sucks for me though. Yeah. You know, our, our collectively favorite web app, of course, being AppQs, you know, that's yeah. one of his favorites. <laughs> it's, a good, it's, it's a good app. I actually like I'm user I'm not trying flow. to throw it in the back. There's no shit. I actually think it's, it is a good I just think the pricing app. model the pricing is whack. monthly active users. And yeah. then just assuming that everybody's getting value from that specific thing because right. monthly active users has to do with covering No, but there's one costs. more metric even as part of that that I think is a big deal. It's, it's monthly active users who are paid. Because right. you can, unfortunately at CodePen, we have we had a lot of monthly active users who were just free. So if you were, and then if you added anonymous to that, like a, then it would be out of whack. Mm. Oh, so gosh. we kind of three categories. We had like logged out, just somebody just arrives at the site. That was never even on the table for using a product like that. And it's not just FQs, it would be anything. It'd be like metrics app. A lot of analytics apps are oh, this gosh. way, yes. where they want to charge you kind of by the user. Yeah. So anonymous was out. It's always out because the number's too high. Yep. And then there's logged in free, which is a good category because there's like a one foot step closer to being paid. Yeah, at least so I want to use your funnel. freaking thing. I want to show them little flows. I want to yeah. do what Shepard can do for sure. But as an upsell, be like, hey, do you know, you know, a little finger. Do you see this feature? Yeah, you know, you'd have yeah. access to it if you were pro. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that Kermit? That I was, was gonna say, was that Kermit? Was well, that's, Kermit? The, that's his. Cousin Shepherd, and then if you yeah. just like slightly tangentially, you could also like upgrade that to a Grover if you make it a little raspy. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen this? It's <laughs> right up here. <laughs> Far. <laughs> you can have access. <laughs> All tours should be in that voice. That'd exactly, be great. that would be amazing. But I'm that was a category AI free, voice component. logged in, but free. Yes. And then if you're already paid. That's great and all because what these products, particularly AppQs, I felt was uh, was focused around this. They had all this corporate philosophy around the idea that first you're just a you're just a user. You of course you've already paid money, but yep. you're just a you're kind of a nobody, and then you become engaged, and then you become like a super user, and then you be like at the highest echelon, you're almost part of their marketing team. You're like yes. fueling the network effects of this uh, thing, and you're yeah. trying to move people forward in these buckets through their thing. But that presupposed that step one, you've already given them money. Yeah. And I'm like, if, if we were only using this product to paid people, the pricing is fine. But I wanted to use it one step down from that where you weren't yet paying customers. Right. Yeah. Because it makes it, it is, harder to pay for. It's an onboarding app for like new users, but it's also like 
you know, you want to teach them the features or point out underutilized right. things from those accounts in order to push them through the funnel, which yeah. is these kinds of products make sense for, but their pricing scheme doesn't make sense for. You're like, yeah. yeah. Right. So I don't know. Honestly, it's a reason to use Shepard, which is like, the, it's open source, yo. Yeah, it's open source. Like, yeah, give right. them your nudges. Tell it's stupid. We, you know, you yeah. don't have to. And tell honestly, some it other might system. as well be free if yeah. you're worried about the the, the corporate. Like, what did you say you charge? Fifty dollars. Yeah, Fifty bucks. That's yeah, literally yeah, free. So yeah, it's basically yeah. free. Yeah. You know, and I've been surprised at the success of it. I'm happy about that. Uh, honestly, and I think I told you this before, which was, oh, I just saw that Intro JS, another very popular tour library that is open source, it has been for a while, has yeah. been under the same model. And it's just oh. like autopilot. And you can prioritize issues from folks who have paid. That's great. I'd love to do yeah. that. Oh, you. nice. You know, why not? Like, oh, that's cool. It's a reason to sort of like elevate your voice and the issues backlog, mm -hmm. which of course we have very little, so. Yes, because we have, write flawless <laughs> code. It. We write the flawless TypeScript code. We're always right. gets the types right. Absolutely. Every time. Every Tuesdays, time. Yeah. 24 hours a day, all you do is close issues. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so 24 hours. You get a full 24 hour window yeah. to do that. <laughs> you know, so that makes me think about another very interesting open source model, which is a bunch of these products that are like really nice, robust SaaS products okay. in the cloud, but they offer a self hosted model. Oh, so they're open yeah. source and you can self-host also if you want to. Right. So you got your super base, so you got like Cole's Tog. Uh -huh. Those are some really huge ones where you can do that. Although for one, I find uh, post hogs free tier very generous, at least for now, you know, millions of active users. Yes, yeah. is so. that that's funny? Their model is almost like you could do this, but do you want to? Yeah. Seriously, yeah. I think that's the thing though, yeah. is that I've never met anyone who's actually taking advantage of it. Who is self-hosting all these things? It's got to be like a they huge just, they just company. like the vibes of it. I think they like, like the a vibes. fang company it's, that wants to right. use it, and they would need to self-host it anyway because they have all these regulations that you can't right. use yeah. the cloud. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, or you can. like want it in your little dockers and stuff. Yeah, because, right. Yeah, and th I guess that's nice, and, and but it almost feels like a disadvantage for their enterprise customers, right? Like, oh, I would like to self-host Superbase potentially, but I'd be doing it like you know, in a little cloud instance or some small box I have at home or something like that. And that is way harder for me. You but need like 10 services at it, least and to get it. Right. Exactly. Like, and if you're an enterprise company with a team that is skilled enough to do this potentially, that seems a little bit weird, but I guess possible. But I've always found it to be a very interesting marketing tactic because like one very obvious case is, okay, you have launched Darkwood, right? feature yeah. flags that get like embedded in your code. So they're, they're deep right. in their shit. And they're expensive too, from what Are I understand, they? right? Okay. So you have other companies do your flags also. So like Flagspoon is one and it offers a self-hosting model. So yeah. that seems more friendly to, to the community, okay. right? Yeah. Or you have, I mean, I think Sentry can self-host. Something like that, like centuries. Pretty much, one. can you? Like nobody things. does self -host. Just to make sure we're fully derailed here, can you paint a picture of me? You know why I need an expensive feature flag service? Like, can you be their <laughs> DevRel for a minute? Because to me, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to the user table. I'm yes. going to add a column that's like feature flag, or maybe oh no, wait, I'm going to use a relational database. I'm going to have a feature flag table, and on the user column, I'm going to point to the feature flags that those users have, and they're on or they're off. Well, I think it's not that. Got so. it. Done. Don't have like a complex, like you can go in and be like, these 10 people are this kind of person and they can see these pages and not these behavioral like, tracking yeah, and stuff like, like that. So you can a create tree of who can see what and say yeah. just on and on. So you can create um, cohorts integrated to your marketing funnels. Cohort. Yeah. yeah, that's the fancy word for groups of people that like yeah. fall into certain buckets. You can also do right. random and a criteria testing. for falling into that can yeah. be rather exotic. Yeah it, yeah, it can be a, they're signed up as a free user who has clicked yeah. ABC thing. Now let's show them some additional oh, features. That yeah. might so you could work. track that stuff yourself and then still use a dumber feature flag library that just turns it off. Yeah, the it's like but most they track a lot of stuff. extra stuff. It's I think the it's tracking true. of the extra stuff that's yeah. more interesting than can see. Yes, no. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. not on off. It's bucketing that yeah. starts to get better. All right, you've sold me. Launch darkly, everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, or the one that the offers show. self hosting. I don't know. There's a couple of those too. Okay. Yeah. 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 I get it though. It's yeah. It's almost like signaling to have one of these. You can yeah. self-hosted things is like a loss leader or something for their their paid thing, or it's to like yeah. trick you into not doing that. 
So I don't work for Post Hog, but Post Hog has both analytics and, and feature flagging in their own thing. Oh, yeah. Are they? Uh, they are open that, source. They I are think a self post, Is that an email deal or is it an analytics? Oh, Post Hog. No, it's it's analytics. analytics. It's tracking. analytics. Yeah, but open source. Oh, and we've got a God, cute. Dang it! I should know that. I tried to. I tried to get us to use it because yeah. it's self hosting. <laughs> I know. And then we looked at it and we're like, yeah. That's going to be know. hard. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You? Sure. Thanks. The wine is for breakfast. Yeah. Yes. Drink or be gone. It's loosening us I up. Although had... you're, I've heard you say not because we're sitting here and again and all things open. You can hear the crowd noise. Yeah. yeah. People come by. No, people love visiting booths. I'll tell you that. Yeah. About they do. They do. They, they like come free right shit. the hell up. It is yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why they're here. I mean, they come yeah. by with a bag that's just waiting to Full be Full of fucking t-shirts. Yeah, oh, every year you get new t-shirts or something. Yeah. That's the way you think about it. Right. I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to reduce my t-shirt. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't need a lot of junk t-shirts. Like, yeah. But we have the nice overseas. t-shirts. We do have nice t-shirts. And they want to know what this this podcast is and all yeah, that. God, I lost yeah. my train of thought a little bit. I was going yeah. to connect the dots there. Post to something. Post hog. Yeah, post hog. Post hog, post hog. Uh, this episode is sponsored by post hog. I'll be sending <laughs> you a bill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's anyway. almost like a uh, like a badge of of success, isn't it? Have you heard of like, like kids will do TikToks where they they like lie about having a sponsor because it's like yeah, a badge no. of pride, you know? Oh, okay. oh we do it's that all the thing. time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just did it. Yeah. Yeah. words to the olds. I have spoken to some folks out there, but you know, I do think it'd be interesting just throw out sponsors like that, yeah. but then be like, oh, we're gonna cut this out of the episode if you don't pay this yeah. invoice. <laughs> like we. We've done it for you already. Huh. Did you like that That's episode? That's so fucked up mm. arbitrage. Like, yeah. <laughs> if I'm going to do that, I'm going to reach. So it, now's a great time to uh, announce that uh, the podcast has been acquired by a company. Yeah. We're, and, we're uh, buying Yeah, you're buying it. And, uh, <laughs> There's a lot of levels below me, so I don't know everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know. Yeah. This one uh, is also don't... sponsored by NBC Universal. Yeah, there you uh. go. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think you want to buy this one. It doesn't outperform shop time, So yeah. Uh, yeah. I bet we're... Neck and neck these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, not it's according I'm, to State of JS. <laughs> well, we have to be uh, yeah, written in. Votes are. Yeah, we got to get written in. We've got four votes, and Robbie and I did right. two of them. <laughs> We're all living in some Texas shadow anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, they yeah. blow everyone out of the water. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. This just in: Whiskey Fund is now open for all your merch needs. That's right, Robbie. We're hearing reports of hats, sweaters, and T-shirts, as well as a link to join our Discord server. What's a Discord server? (sighs) Just read the prompter, man. Hit subscribe, leave us a review on your favorite podcast app, and tell your friends about our broadcast. It really does help us reach more people and keeps the show growing. All right, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Where do you I'm reading think this book the this 90s, weekend. Chuck Klosterman in the 90s. And it was, it's just about what it felt like to be in that decade. And man, yeah. there was no decade more that selling out was like the worst, the worst thing you could do in the 90s. He was talking about like Nirvana and stuff. Yeah, Chuck, yeah You know, yeah. like, I will not. I, he was like embarrassed that he was popular. Like every interview oh, ever yeah, with Kurt was like, yes. was like, I wouldn't even like us. We're too popular kind of thing, yeah. you know? <laughs> And now it's so. Wow. I do remember that how pissed off different. Kurt Cobain was that he got lumped in with Pearl Jam just because he felt like they yeah. were super popular. And he was yeah. like, that ain't, that's not us. Uh, you know, as, as iconic as Nirvana is, Pearl Jam yeah. sold a lot yeah. more records, I'm afraid, buddy. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Well, Why are we talking about Pearl Jam? Do we? I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm a Gen Xer and Pearl Jam is fucking awesome. Yeah, they're I've still seen them awesome. live. Yeah. Uh, not since like 2002, but. Well, they're back. Go see them at the. The Vegas thing. I would love to, except for I'm just, I don't have the uh, stamina. For, uh, they have oh, the fucking they, They're done. Oh, they're, uh, they were. Oh, uh, okay. I probably still wouldn't pass because just concerts don't work for you because they go later than 1030. Oh, man. and then concerts you might not have the worst, even man. seen the headliner. You that's think all things it. open, there's a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vegas. No, I will Vegas not go to sphere. a bigger concert. I'll go no, to a local show thing, or whatever. Yeah. But you've got to be done earlier. Yeah. Like if you got, 10 bands playing and you're the last one, I'm not going to stay no. for that. Unless it maybe starts at like noon. I do could. appreciate so the last like stadium show I saw really? with my wife and, and some friends. It's been a little while, but it was Coldplay at like FedEx Field. Mm-hmm. Some crazy Did you shit. lose a bet? Coldplay is good. You're, listen, I you disagree. are words I can't say without getting canceled right now, but you know what I mean. Okay. I can use my imagination. Yeah, then. just go with that. I mean... My wife was probably more into them recently, but I saw them a long time ago at uh, Coachella. They put on a great live show. It is like as good or better than the albums. It's kind of like when you go see Fish, you're like, the albums are okay, 
the live show was fucking great. Mm. I got to say, Coldplay put on a great live show. And the, I love because they were in the center and not just like on one side and then killing off half the seats. And so they had like four stages set up and they were going to different parts. What? So everybody got a closer show. Oh, and I that, that cool. was awesome. Yeah. And they gave you these like weird wristbands. They set and up they four stages. They set up four stages. I guess if you're that rich. And for certain songs, they would must like, be hard. They would send out signals to the armbands and do different like color shows that everyone was involved in. Wow. Okay, it was, so it was a great show overall. Okay, I take back Dang. what I said. They still suck musically, <laughs> but like Cool, cool show idea. I do like yeah. that. Yeah. But so. you are also trapped in the stadium. That's like I know, I know. That's yeah. the same. But in general. Oh, I, but point, I can now I can picture it more. So you're, it's like an American football field or whatever. Yes. They were pointed up at the mm. stands. That's how that worked. It wasn't like they were around you. You were around them. Kind of, yeah. So it was almost like a big cross where like the ends of the cross. So they had a center and stage. You could go and they through had, the cross. Yeah, people. and they could yeah. run to the other stands and do different stuff. And they had like full setups on a couple of the stands too. Okay. So it's like the seer come out and do a piano over here. Now they have the full setup on this one and they come and do like a three piece for that part. And hmm. yeah, it was really cool. Interesting. So I would have to say like that was neat and like made the live experience seem worth it. But otherwise, I don't know. I, I saw Ray Lamontagne like a month ago, and I oh, yeah, I think too. he's great. Did but you see him he with Gregory Allen Isakov or were they? Yes. Yeah. And we, so we saw all of them, and they were amazing. And we, there was an opener before them. Mm. But then he doesn't come on until 10, by 10.30, and it's like a Thursday night. I'm like, uh, I don't know. And yeah. As soon as the wife was like, can't do it, I was like, great, let's go. That's why we need to get retired, so we're less worried. Like, yeah, maybe. You know, I have yeah. young kids. and, and they yeah. I like concerts where I can sit in a nice chair. Yeah. It's like in a section that's... Cause like when you're standing in the general admission area, no, I don't do that. All these kids just come and like shove everyone no, up to the front, that. and you're just like, and I'm just no, like, no, I'm, I'm at I just work my way out, and I'm gonna stand in the back with the other dads. Yeah, yeah. and like, <laughs> why don't fun. go see bands maybe that have too many young about. kids? In One you don't think kids side. like Coldplay? No. No. Huh. A Ray LaMontagne was full of folks that made me look young. I, I, I went and peed during a Ray LaMontagne song and <laughs> looked up at the crowd. And there was like, because I could see the way the lighting of the show was. I yeah. could see, you know, 200 people or so. And there was a full third of them was yawning. Yeah. He's, yeah. A sleep, he's a sleepy <laughs> dude. Is. And I'm sure all of them were happy to be there. Yeah. But uh, he's very talented. Yeah. I love his stuff. But yeah, I mean, sleep fest. Yeah. Mom, wow. <laughs> like, on, 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 on. Well, that's a great what not. Yeah. What anyway, is open source worth it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, so I, I, yeah, I, you said this. this is my problem. Okay. I've been doing open source forever, and like doing all these things that I thought would help my brand. Like I need, I need to have some rep, right? Like I want, want to have a green GitHub. I want to have some repos I'm mm. a maintainer of. I want to like yep. be on Ember Core team. I want to do all this stuff. Yep. yep. In hopes that it helps me get notoriety and okay. like be Let's ask. able to get jobs better or speaking opportunities or whatever. None of that shit matters. Like I've no. got no benefits from any of it. Well, I personally. Okay. I mean, you're at Amazon now and I think not to like do a devil's advocate thing, but like that's a pretty good job. I'm sure there's lots of people that would be yes, like. Yes, but it that all that had nothing to do with me getting there. Really, job. just it's leet code or yeah. just die. Yeah, okay. that's, that's they don't the care. whole interview. Yeah, yeah. No. wait, leet, leet code. Yeah, like good, very good. No, no, you know, no, no, no. That's a whole thing where no, you like, like no. you have practice algorithm problems. practice. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, so it's like you know, do a sorting algorithem or whatever. That's how you got in. Is knowing all your sorts and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I just practiced uh. leet code for like three months. All the then, all the Menomina companies require yeah. that. Yes, Menomina is the new thing. By the way, there's no more Fang or Mang. Yes, so Fang is dead. It's Menomina. I know Menomina. Oh, is that and it's the first letter of a ton of Meta, Apple, Netflix, Amazon. Where am I? Nvidia. Yeah, yeah, NVIDIA is an N. Yeah. And then the we last one more, we a. We more a. a. Do you know any A companies yeah. that are worth a lot, Chris, uh -uh. that we could throw in there? App, I'd say App Hughes is right up. Yeah. <laughs> From your recent bills, App Hughes is on there, it turns out. Uh, all the employees of App Hughes are like, I haven't gotten my stock yet. yet. Yeah. Uh, Chris, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks um, for trying that. That's tremendous. <laughs> all right. So it, did, it didn't count, but I, you know, I will. Did I already tell this story? I can't even remember. Well, one of the keynotes just this morning was about uh, open source community in Africa that's been yeah. growing up, doing super well, and 
painted a picture of some personal stories of people that had a few PRs get merged on some open source projects that led directly to jobs for them. And that's like a win for yeah. some countries. And yeah. I, I mean, mean I think, really, but it happened to be about Africa and it, it felt like a good a good thing. You know, like that's a way in. That's a way in yeah. for these companies to, to break in. It can work. It yeah. has not helped me is no be viewed needs. as a more, right. a better developer in any way. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, did you, are we straight up saying like for you, open source was a, just yeah. a, people. well, maybe I'm just bad at everything and that's the problem. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> your code unlikely. is good. Your, your face is bad. I think well, it's part of the, the problem. The beard is good though. Yeah. Yeah. The beard Whenever is, I yeah, used to not have a beard, I would go to an interview shaved and they'd be like, mm, no, no, not you. No. Yes. Yeah. But then I grow the beard and they'd be like, this guy is wise. Look okay. at that beard. <laughs> yes. That's true. All right. Dude, it I, sounds like a joke, but I almost sure that that it really did matter. Yeah. I think yeah, it did. Yeah. Maturity difference in your face. Yeah and like you can't help some kind of visual bias I think yeah right. Right. like you might recognize them and you know reset that but I think it does happen naturally I mean just as humans symmetry is beauty for us yeah that's and true. we're drawn to that because we want to continue the species with the best level of beauty we can make but I have a hot and hotter take oh okay hotter start with the hotter that. okay so well no <laughs> Yeah, because then the other one will sound boring. So okay. the, the hot take is that open source is a young person's game in that it does take some grind and time. And as you get older and your responsibilities increase, you have less and less of that available. Yeah, your to nights kids. and weekends aren't yours anymore. They're not yeah. yours anymore. And you can't like, you know, just spray and pray across. It's partially time things. and partially like a mental shift into you get Personal some value. Uh, an email arrives in your inbox and it's some entitled trick being like, this library doesn't do this. I just, my, my, I, I can't even, like yeah. I will not address that. I cannot yeah. and will not. <laughs> but you have no choice in open source. Like you're, it is in, in your docket of responsibility. Maybe they don't deserve a reply or something, but at some point that issue needs to be addressed in some way. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to like manage that. Somebody has opened a piece of your time that you don't have a choice in. Right. Yep. Yeah. At some point or another, you address that and you say, maybe you can nay. share the load with some others. There's ways it can I, be managed. My better. favorite ones are the ones where they like, you haven't answered in two weeks and they ping you, hey, any update on this? Right. Like, any update on your fucking time in PR? No. <laughs> yeah. You didn't oh. fix it already for oh, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have this opinion. You had right. enough time to write this and ask oh, me. Oh, man. I got you? one the other day that was like, oh, the link to your documentation is wrong in the README. I was like, that sounds like a fucking easy PR you could open. <laughs> hey, like, did you know it's yeah. still October? Huh? That one's one of those. Did you know it's still Hacktober? Yeah. Hacktoberfest. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can get something right there. So, yeah. hotter take. You ready for this? Okay, okay. all things yeah. open. But it's interesting. So, open source licensing, open source community, as in general, like morally, like feels like a great thing to do and give back and whatever else. But how many companies leverage that for like free work bunch of fucking idiots we just get your free work like how much open source does i mean is and that microsoft your is take? better it's like no wonder google has some well just think about like this is the way amazing. okay i can find a country full of like lower cost of living a lot of poor people and present them with a certain level of training to work on open source with the promise of a high paying job some, somehow down the line. Yeah, I hate to admit that I agree and with you, you on that one. And you can take of that. Yeah, to be promoting open source as this like potential gateway into future games no, it's does not. feel a little gross to me. In yeah. the design world, they call that spec work. Exactly. And and, and the and it's dev world doesn't off. have that. Yeah, it, just, it feels weird to me. If you get in something from it and you enjoy place. the project and you contribute to it, then it's yeah. community. But there is a sense of like, some false promise that this leads to a lucrative software engineering job because yeah. it doesn't all the time it, it often yeah. doesn't yeah. there's no relation a it lot never of yeah but it does make you learn things which sure, you can then apply sure. it's to beneficial you. in that sense yeah so it's not it's not bad but no, i think it's, that it's over promised right. for sure Fair what enough. if you spent like say you know half your career contributing to an open source project that is kind of dead and dying who's done that <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying hypothetically. What, hypothetical. Hypothetically. Hypothetical. Could you tie that into any other animal-based JavaScript framework? For example, just, I don't know, off the top of my head, I can't think of turtle, turtle.flamingdeath.js. 
the ends of a fire? What's, what's, the what's the question here? Oh, I don't know. I totally You're lost just, that. Just I was just shitting trying on you for fun. I, <laughs> okay, yeah. Shitting I mean, if on you have, friends if you have for something fun. you want me to address. Then no, no, I, I just. Uh, I mean, yeah. but I, okay, so fair point. I mean, right? You can reflect back to your own career and see that, like, at times, something that you had passion about. And I'm sure you're not, you don't regret contributing to it. You don't no. regret being a part of yeah. it. You enjoyed your time there. But to have any sort of like feeling like you're due fruits of that labor or that, you know, why don't people yeah, yeah. have the same enthusiasm about this project at this time that I yeah. do? Well, the secret like, is just, the people that have the money to hire you do not give a shit about anything, you know, your notoriety at all. Because they're like, well, what can you do for me? And how does it make me money? Okay. And you being like popular doesn't make me any more money. I still have, need to ship the I've, same. I mean, code. You're telling me I've wasted my life too. <laughs> well, I, damn it. Well, that's an interesting thing. Well, so, <laughs> so we're going to talk to Max tomorrow, right? Like, or today, or maybe. Today, maybe. Okay, we haven't so, nailed it down yet. Right. So, I mean, just think of that. Like, the creator of Homebrew couldn't get uh, uh, hired Google, by yeah. Google. We use homebrew, yeah. right? That's a very obvious, well, like, like, wow, is that a real yeah. story? That's a real story. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. My manager, like, tells me, he interviews people, and they're like, oh, Robbie works there? I've heard of him from the community. Like, I'm internationally renowned if you know Ember. Yeah, I'm right. Sure. Small community, so it's, I'm sure. not, like, a big deal. But yeah. whatever. But, but like, that, didn't they don't an, care about you that. You didn't like, get a LinkedIn job, and you didn't get a wherever well, they're at try next. I didn't try it. I didn't, didn't try it. All right. Well, you, maybe you would have. Because during know. that time, we had a business that was not dead. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, you would have had to study. Le at, like, they don't care that you know Ember inside and out. They right. still would have put you through a fucking yeah, yeah. whiteboard yeah. or whatever thing. And here you go, Chris Coyer, the wizard of CSS. I'm still work. I'm still workshopping. Yeah. It, so we'll get there. But um, it's, it's the Bob Bill. If you went to go like work with Adam Argyle at Google. They're not going to be like, fuck yeah, we want Chris Coyer. Well, they're Jeff Rell's like, a different yeah, we want role. That. Yeah, but Jeff they're not going to be like, want you to be your famous. resume speaks for itself. They're still going to make you do leak code problems because that is their path to employment. Yeah, which Isn't means it? I will definitely fail. Right. Wouldn't that be fucked up to like, oh, you're going to come and work on CSS spec. You're going to be a CSS expert. Guess what? You are. Everybody fucking yeah. knows it. And they won't offer you a job without you doing dumb fucking stuff like that. Is it just Sorry, the climate now? Because like, I got my first startup job at Wufu. I was not rigorously technically interviewed. They knew me because it's, yeah. it's a barrier to entry now. It yeah. weeds out the people that can't do it. Right. And it's bullshit because just because I can't do it in that 30 minutes you're doing it with me doesn't mean I couldn't do couldn't it. Couldn't figure it out eventually. Yeah. My problem solving shouldn't require memorization. Yeah. 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 They're like, don't use the internet. Like, guess what? Every day in my job, I use the internet. So, yeah. And if they're like, yeah. uh, you know, do some That's binary the most, tree shit, yeah. you're like, going to in NPM install binary tree, right? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. like, like, is why? it not worth something to me that I can read? Even if it wasn't use the internet, that I have like a great community of people that I've spent my life building that if I had trouble with, I could lean on. Yeah. help me solve the problem. Yeah. Because guess if that's valuable or not. I, you can tell me all day that it's not. I know that it is. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. Right. But I do work, I, like just to make sure that existential worry is a part of this episode, there was a time for many years that I thought, it's, I have somehow made it. Like I am fine now. If anything were to go belly up or I needed to change careers, I could do it like this. Yep. And in the last couple years, maybe five or if that, feeling has totally evaporated. Yeah. I would have just as much trouble finding your job as anybody else. Absolutely. You would. And yeah. I think that's sad. Right? It that's is. My point. I hate is to that. I don't agree with but, that. I agree yeah. that you would. And I feel like it's ridiculous to a point. Yeah. Like you said, you have a portfolio of community and past experiences. And that's the valuable part. Not whether you or a new grad can do leak code. Right. Yeah. It's like... They, so. I mean, it probably yeah. depends on what it is and, and whatnot, but yeah, I would, but I would try the old fashioned way. <laughs> I would still try to paint a picture of what I've done and money I've made for people. I'd even spell it out like that. Yeah. That results. Yeah. Results based. I, I think like there's that. something to be said for that too. They go, oh, do this Lego problem. You just go, no. Yeah. Yeah. Here's why you should hire you me. You want to make money? Or yeah, maybe. Yeah. Take yeah. it or leave it. Yeah. I'm not going to do your bullshit whiteboarding, yeah. whatever. Well, right. Amazon's right. not going to listen to that. But I think that there are plenty of other... I know over the last couple of years, because I've had my spouts of being in the market for various reasons, and going through loops at a startup in their Series A, 
and I do eight interviews. And I'm like, I think you misinterpret for what you need here. Yeah, well, we know hiring. Look, like we're just hitting all the hitting all the classics. Yeah, on this yeah. episode. Do we know any DNS? Is weird. <laughs> hiring is broken. Yeah, what do you know about DNS? Yeah, I will say one thing. So DNS is hard. Madison had posted yeah. on Twitter. I won't call it other things. She had posted about another learning resource that she found. It was like Codecrafters IO or something like that. Okay. But what I really liked about that is their projects were like create a DNS server and stuff like that. And I think that is a smart thing. The lost art. Yeah, yeah. there's a lost art of understanding like how DNS even works. I mean, I guess it's like a giant like key value store to a degree. It's a hash map. Yeah. But <laughs> like, <laughs> there, how does that work? I don't work think you can do it in a soundbite. No. DNS is actually complicated. It is yeah. very complicated, but being able to like create your own rudimentary one uh, I think I should clarify that I am still pro open source. I just yeah, recognize yeah. the nuances of it and where it can be taken advantage and where like, you know, what, how do you monetize it? What is an appropriate fork and what reasons? Oh God, you're the master of segues. You wanted to talk about, for, about I did. I famous did forks. About, like, famous yeah. forks, because there's been a couple of lately. Yeah, what's the biggest, what's the one that jumps to mind for you? Pair AIs? Isn't oh, that the one? Yeah, that's hilarious. So there's tons of forever people are making browsers and lately yeah. forever people are making code editors, right? Actually, I was thinking about, and I'm not even related to that, but I have seen a bunch of interesting drama around it. So there's that alternative to Unreal Engine called the Doe. Called Real Engine? Yeah, it's called the Doe, but then, no. So Godot is okay. that open source gaming Isn't engine. Isn't that gal, Godot? I wish. Whew. Top five. Top five. That's in the top five. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey. Are you kidding All me? Right. And I don't Good even have any degrees of separation on in that. So that's a mom, by the way. Anyway, sorry that's if that's offensive. But okay, so there's a fork of Unreal Engine that's called Godot. That's what you're saying. Well, it's and not it, a fork. So wait, this was just the alternative to Unreal. Oh, just they the had weird licensing stuff. Yeah, yeah. So they got a bunch of people that were like, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's not going to work for us. Let's have open source Daner developer things. Okay. But then there was some political argument that happened within the community and like the community manager just started like blocking people and all this like crazy back and forth. Yeah. So someone forked it to Redo or Redot. And uh, uh, with a and, different license. Yeah. Too. Well, and then they started to like switch other things. Okay. On the forks thing, so there's, you were about to tell this story, but I am curious, anybody can fork a project, right? Right. Yep. I, I probably accidentally have a fork of WordPress in my GitHub or something, just well, at one time where I There are projects that would enforce button. forks. They would only let you submit to forks. Yeah, I mean, isn't that how it originally worked? Yeah, it was. Yeah, so yeah. that's probably why Forking I do. Pole. Yeah. But of, obviously, I would think to most people that that's a different story. Yeah. It's not, can you fork it? It's, can you meaningfully fork it? Do you have a plan for your fork? Are you trying to make it the, the well, new you canonical in a way? Yeah. The, do you have a team yeah. ready to do that? Those are like huge Well, questions. and those forks are intended to be a downstream contributor. Those forks are, we have, right? And this right, happened new with Node, thing, the new Node and thing. IO.js, right? Oh, yeah, that was a huge so story. So that was a big thing. And that was a disagreement in the community. And you're essentially saying me and my friends are taking going home. Taking my and going home. It's I'm a fork my, and rename. Yeah, yeah it like, is. It's a yeah. rename. It's a whole like... Here's our mission. It's clearly right. not the same as yours. That one was such a good one. That has informed future activity. I think so, so. And you see, because that one merged back in, it did. that feels like a not an inevitability, but a possibility yeah. of these things. So look at how, didn't it happen relatively quickly with Redis? Like, oh, there's some problems with the light. Yep. Oh, we'll fork it. Yeah, it's like back together like yeah. six I days later. I think there later. is a way to be like, yeah. listen, we'll just fucking go if, you, if you're not right. in on this. Yeah, yeah, as long as you've got the muscle to do it, the power plays of open source is interesting to me. It is interesting. I, I, I even think on a, on a like an emotional level, it's a reason that people get involved at all, is that it's a way, if you have no other power in the world, which yeah. is a thing, yes, that you can exhibit some of that power through, through being a strong open source contributor. I, I think that some people miss- Your power in this world. Some people miss the fact that the, you're actually dealing with an asset that could have actual value. Right. right. Having sold and reacquired the IP of an open source right. You're project. A literal example of how this Absolutely. Can be done. It, yeah. it can be sold off and it can come back potentially, right? Right. But that people are contributing to a thing that has value and that's monetary value. Mm -hmm. And that's a very interesting aspect when you think about it. And that's probably why 
people take their choice and go somewhere else, make a kind of threat, we'll go somewhere else right. until we can come right. to agreement. Yeah. And it's just kind of easier said than done. It and, is, and yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, since you mentioned WordPress, how do you feel about Matt? <laughs> Personally, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know. never returned for me into it. Or, yeah. yeah, we can. Well, we, can we did, avoid a, we did it a shop talk show about it too. No, I don't. I, I don't mind it. I just think when you just look at straight up like individual choices and behavior, it's easy to see like what is this dick moves crap going on? Yeah, right. To me, it's just obviously that it's, there's really weird, rude behavior going on, and there is some, and I hate to say on both sides because it feels like in this heated political moment, I yeah. don't want to hear on both sides yeah. sometimes. But uh, I feel like it would have been potentially even easy for Matt and Automatic to paint a picture of a misbehaving company and gotten us all on their side very easily. But yeah. just being like, it's not about copyright because it isn't. Yeah. And it's not about X, Y, and Z. It's about a company that makes a lot of money off of this name and they're not contributing back to the community that you and all I love. And just paint that picture and keep painting it and see if that works. At least start there. Do you think there's anything? And that's not what was done. It was just immediate, huge no, yeah. gut punches yeah. right and left. And the one that really scares me, the one that I, my mind keeps going back to is the one where they just took Advanced Custom Fields, which is a major, major plugin yeah. for the yeah. WordPress world. They just took it overnight and they called it a fork and it's not a fork. It's not a fork when they you just stole it. You sh when you keep the slug of the original, it's not a fork. It's no, not a fork. Yeah. My websites, without any agreement by my side, now say secure custom fields on it, which is the name that they called it, which is just a little petty jab at the fact that, oh, we did it because there's a security vulnerability and it's a, our version secure and their version isn't. Yeah. It's petty and it's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And now, my website, I just, it, it bugs me to no end that they just, they stole it. It's theft. It's just so uncool to me. And imagine being somebody who's right now, who's working on a commercial WordPress yeah. plugin or something. They're trying to make their money in the world with that as the plan. Are you sleeping that night to know that it can no. just be like, I'll have that now. Yeah, Remember, you're not. It's yeah. mine. Every other thing is thinking like, oh my gosh, doing? don't cross that man. We just he will that take week, your shit. I had to upgrade Jetpack because there is a major security vulnerability in it. Can I have Jetpack? Can I just have it? Is that mine now? Like, mm. oh. Yeah. But I want I, I, I to like you. I want to continue liking WordPress and I want to continue liking the company. I did for most of my life. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, just the rudest, pettiest crap I can yeah. imagine. Yeah, I was, and I don't I was, think there's I'd be coming the first back guy right. lining up to fight for you. Yeah. And now and I'm just, out. I don't no, know. Yeah, to right. Yeah. I CSS think it's the time, time of the... Everything I ever do, if it's, if it's a publication, I just lean for it because I know it. I feel like it does a pretty good job yeah, in it. Absolutely. It has never scorned me. I, I think it's pretty good software. Which I really love and appreciate. This is like, why go to the next hot thing? You know what? Uh, still, about. it is just software. It is. it is just a database that spits out some templates and I can pick a different thing that's a database that spits out template. I yeah. can and I will. Well, there you go. You know? Because yeah. it's this about the people sponsored and Sponsored by AstroDB. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, uh, we'll be sending yeah. you a bill. I'll send Anyway, I get worked up about that because I just, right it, it made me sad and mad to be like, one is going How much there? of that is private equity fueled fights back and forth? Because isn't that one of the things is like WordPress engine is like associated with one private well, equity. Well, that gets pointed a at a one. lot. I think but so. I don't know, if, is there truth to that? Or you think? Well, uh, there must be some degree of it, or at least that's where the anger starts. That's or where something. somebody it's like. It's you make more money than me and I'm mad about that. We got a little glimpse of that into yeah. what a Matt post where, and he taken it down since saying that his brain was poisoned oh, yeah, by never activity yeah. or whatever. Hey, hey, but hey. DHH was like, you're doing open source dirty. Yeah. Which I agree with. There can't, he was saying there, there's this set of shadow principles now, and that's yeah. like really horrible for open source. And I, I tend to agree with that. Despite I, me not loving other things DHH has said, I think he's absolutely right about this. I think he's coming to his like mature era. Yeah, and I, I'm starting to love everything. Oh, he yeah. Says, yeah. So I'm I enjoying it. I hate to admit I'm yeah. kind of <laughs> turning into a fan as well. Yeah. yeah. And then Matt went off on the pettiest stuff I could possibly imagine. He's like, Maybe you should, you know, yeah. focus on this instead he of buying like, a race car. He basically just did a. He's like, why don't a, you a have better market contest. share? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it, but it paints a picture to me. I've sat and had dinner with him before. That was a fun time. Matt loved to do it again. But now I know how you think about me. Now you uh, think of me as a lesser man. 
Where's my market share? Right. I'm right. way smaller than DHH. You must think of me as an ant. You wasted your money on yeah. a race car rather yeah. than whatever yeah. else. I like. waste my money on a custom banjo on my right, ass. Right, because it brings you pleasure. Oh, the, lo and behold, maybe you need a And I get everybody has a bad day. I've said some jerk ass shit yeah. online, but it didn't happen one day. It happens every day. Yeah. It's like there's, there's never something wrong, been a, like, man. I woke up and realized I might have gone too far. I better go to council. Yeah, I'm double right. down right. all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's doubling down, doubling down. It's like, that's how you get divorced, motherfucker. So I guess. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Oh. I mean, relationships Woo. are yeah. not that different <laughs> yeah. Yeah. across, you know, that's on that note. We're answer. over an hour, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, so right. any, anything you want to plug, Chris? <laughs> want to plug? Yeah. yeah, I want to plug codepen.io. Go to yes. it, sign up for a free account, then sign up for a paid account, and make yeah. me happy. And then let Shepard guide you yeah. to the next <laughs> you know stage in your journey. Hey, Chuck's right. That's literally what happens. The onboarding step. And anybody, if you signed up for codepen.io today, yep. what's going to happen is that you're going to get dumped off into the editor. And because we want you to understand what the editor is, it's kind of the point of using CodePen. For sure. And there's some, there's like a little bit of a learning curve, like one of these buttons do and all that stuff. If you don't want to, if you think that stuff's annoying, just close it. And that yeah. you'll never see it again. And you'll never see but it again. people literally ask us for it, and it's powered by ShepardJS. ShepardJS guides you through it, and it's like 20 steps or something. We intentionally made it a little nice. beefy for the yeah. people that want to That's a hearty tour. I respect it. it. Yeah. Respect yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll plug Flood Shepherd JS as well. Yeah, Part of our, cool. we literally use it. Didn't even give him 50 bucks. I will. <laughs> you don't have to. Well, when you upgrade to version 14, you have yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> when you upgrade, we'll talk about conversation. Yeah. 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 The penalties are bad, but. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, team. Well, that was really yeah, fun. Thanks. Peace. You've been watching Whiskey Web and Whatnot, recorded in front of a live studio audience. What the fuck are you talking about, Chuck? Enjoyed the show? Subscribe. You know people don't pay attention to these, right? Head to whiskey.fun for merch and to join our Discord server. I'm serious. It's like 2% of people who actually click these links. And don't forget to leave us a five-star review and tell your friends about the show. All right, dude, I'm out of here. Still got it.